Three Corners is just your average small town. Standing on the banks of a flood-prone river with a large pub anchoring the village at a once famous three-way intersection. Now it's simply convenient. As people chase the country dream, the country lifestyle, just not the unceasing agricultural workload. Population, 2,000. Ish. But like all small towns, scratch the surface and you'll be surprised at what you find underneath. In that sense, Three Corners is really no different to any other small town I know. Except perhaps for some of the characters you might meet. Cooking books. Yesterday he counted 232 cookbooks, but it's not an obsession. Of those 232, he has only actually cooked out of 52, leaving 180 unused cookbooks on the shelf. But it's not an obsession. Of those 180, he's bookmarked 63, make that 65. So that leaves 115 potentially unappreciated cookbooks on the bookshelf. However, 28 of them are technically travel narratives with recipes, making it 87 unused cookbooks on the shelf. And of that 87, six are books picked up on his travels, so they're more like souvenirs, reducing the total down to 81 unused cookbooks. 15 have cuts of meat or ingredients that aren't readily available in his small town, even in the tiny, dusty, creepy health food store on the corner. So really, there's only 66. 11 were gifts and three more from the last housewarming. Two are limited editions, four are autographed by the author, one is autographed by a former lover. So really there's only 44 friendless unused cookbooks on the bookshelf. Five, he supposes, could be regifted if he really had to. Seven were inherited from his mother and include wonderful recipes like pineapple boiled fruitcake duckling in red wine, marrow noodles in cream with sherried Alaskan crab, full fat, full flour, full sugar chocolate cake. One he found under the floorboards of his last home. So that only leaves 31 unused cookbooks on the shelf. The collection on cake decorating pays homage to an unfulfilled New Year's resolution, but that can easily be rectified. There's seven in all. The three children's birthday cake books never date and we'll be ready for round two shortly, he hopes. As he leafs through the final 20, he finds recipes that simply must be tried in a further 10. Four are so old as to be precious in money as well as memory. In one, tofu appears as TVP, textured vegetable protein. One is a novelty themed book that might be worth dusting off for the New Year's golf club soiree. One he doesn't remember at all, either buying or receiving, so he places it to the side for further investigation. One is simply too pretty to throw out, and the other three? Well, seeing there's only three, they can be used for future referencing. You see, it's not an obsession. Today's episode of Three Corners was produced by our maestro. Posty. And featured the spotlight tones of... For more stories, go to hittheroadjack.com.au or subscribe to the Three Corners podcast.